the first thing that you probably noticed is that the channel's name is Chris's Couch and Chris is not on a couch. <laughs> my excuse and my reason is that I just need an extension cable for my mic. But that's coming in tomorrow, so after this video you'll see the perspective from the couch more often. But I will say that some of these videos I will be at my desk because I like playing at my desk too. And if I have people over, like just to play and be in the videos with me, we will most definitely be at the couch. But for videos like these, like playthroughs where I'm alone, I'm most likely going to be at my desk. In the spirit of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War about to come out, it is a direct sequel to this game, Black Ops 1. So I thought, why not have a little throwback and play it? I'm going to play through it, play through the entire campaign, and catch up with the story because I haven't played this campaign on my own in six years maybe. And I doubt I remember everything, and I doubt you guys remember everything. And this is one of my favorite games of all time, so I thought, why not play through it? So, enjoy. Wake up. Wake up. Where am I? Where's Reznov? You will answer our questions. Do you understand? Who the hell are you? That's not important. What's important is who you are. What's your name? Fuck you! Where were you born? Kiss my ass! Your name is Alex Mason. You were born in Fairbanks, Alaska. In 1961, you served in a CIA assassination team known as Operation 40. Is that correct? Is that correct? Yes. Where's the broadcast station? I don't know what you're talking about. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Where are they brought? I don't know anything about any numbers. What about Dragovich? Do you remember him? Give us what we want, we'll guarantee your safety. Ah! Let's start at the beginning. Cuba, 1961, the Bay of Pigs. We know you were there. Here we go. No. Do not fuck with me, Mason. I know when you're lying. 61, Bay of Pigs. What happened? <laughs> we all got killed. There's no use lying, Mason. We know you went in with Woods and Bowman. Woods? Bowman? This game was actually banned in Cuba, I heard, because, well, you know, they tried the to kill the president. Soon. Let's make this quick. I'm not gonna talk over the dialogue. It's been a while. Well, enough, Carlos. You know Bowman, right? Carlos. This is Mason. What's up, Carlos? So you get what we need? He will be in here. The plantation. My old plantation. Our attack on the airfield should distract them enough to get you inside. What about the evac? We will have transport waiting for you. Just be there. Excellent. We got company. Saca los papeles. Ahora. Sal de aquí. Puta capitalista. No, Oye, ¿qué es hijo de, ¿de dónde puta? tú eres? I said, where are you from? Just be cool, Woods. Wait. I'm talking to you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> be cool, Woods. Everything is ready. Gear up, boys. Stabs him in the fucking hand. Occupants leaving it. Here, let me. Vehicles Sorry. With shotguns. Bowman and Carlos, lay down covering fire. We fight our way through the streets. Mason, on me. Let's go. So this is actually one of my favorite games of all time, because it's one of the first games that I ever played. 
I remember the first time I played this, I was in fifth grade, I think. Which I know makes me sound really young, because I am young. But this is like the first experience that I ever had with Call of Duty, which is an amazing first impression. But this game gives me so many flashbacks. So many memories. So much nostalgia. Even though I'm like 17. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Get in the car. What are y'all doing? Target down. All right, go. I will see you at the airstrip. Sweat them, my friends. Hit it, go. All right, let's go. Excuse me. Get the fuck out of our way. Pardon me. Okay. Well. Should be in the airfield. This game brings me Maybe. so many memories. Minute. There's a signal. Yep. Now, hook up. This is it. Surprisingly, I actually don't remember a lot. I thought I would, but I forgot where to go to get to the car. <laughs> but I want this to be. A good experience for the people who have never seen this game. So I'm not going to spoil anything. Perfect, you're all focused on the airfield. Convoy ahead, do not engage. But yeah, if you are... If you've never seen this game before, if you've never played it, you have a lot in store. This game is amazing. This game is probably one of the best Call of Duties ever. And I know a lot of people don't agree because a lot of people don't like Treyarch, ga Treyarch games. Bowman, left flank. Move out. A lot of people think they're bad for some reason, but I think they're some of the best. I make funny faces when I'm focused. With good reason. We've been trying to get him for three years. But today's the day we succeed. So basically, we're going to go kill Castro, the president of Cuba. And you can see why this game got banned in Cuba for a while. Stay close. Affirmativo. Target down. Ow. The fuck? <laughs> also, not to mention, this game has some of the best weapons in any Call of Duty. Like, the most memorable guns. Got 
All right, you know what? We're just gonna. We're getting hit by our own planes. What? Alright, let's go. Okay, stack up. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> well, this We're moving out. Better make it fast. B-26 is all about to begin their bombing Target should be up ahead. Roger. Move it inside. Get in position. All right, here we go. You ready to make history? I don't know what happened to my sight there. My sensitivity went up really high. For some reason. Crazy bitch. He uses a human shield and she still protects him? Castro support is a fanatical in the devotion to him. That's actually one part that I remember always. How the girl tried to fight back. Okay, we're on our way. Move up. Sorry, I had to cut there. I kept shooting Bowman. Right there, I shot him. Jesus. What is happening? Alright, let's go. Move. This ain't good. It's too many of them. Take out that 50 cap. Ha! <laughs> it went through the truck. <laughs> what? That's so stupid. Carlos, what's happening? Carlos! Here they come over the east wall. There you go. Alright. Let's go. BTR! Oh shit, I forgot. <laughs> oh. Now, hurry, my friend. God bless you, Carlos. Alright, let's go. Into the sugar fields. Also, fun fact, uh, I'm pretty sure most of y'all knew this, but Bowman is voiced by Ice Cube. Some of y'all won't believe that, but go look it up. He's voiced by Ice Cube. The one and only. Holy crap. This game is so cool. Alright, sorry. I decided to admire it. Sorry if I'm yelling. These headphones are really sound canceling. You secure our transport. The plane is ready, but we'll be torn to pieces on takeoff. Jesus. One problem at a time, brother. We're leaving. Move it. Run. God, Mason is so slow. Let's go. Get to the plane. Ow. 
fuck. All right, my turn. Give us cover, Mason. <laughs> this has to be one of the coolest opening missions in any Call of Duty. Or one of the most memorable. Like, what other opening mission do you get to do this? None. Oh, I should probably be paying attention. Have to make a sacrifice. Run. Runway's clear. Damn you, Mason. There's no choice, Woods. I knew what I signed up for. Got me fine. Just go. Get out of here. Ah, shit. <laughs> Had to take one for the team. That's what Mason does. We killed you. No. You killed a double. You think we didn't know of your plan? We always know. Do with him what you wish, General. He's my gift to you. In honor of our new relationship. Just make sure that he suffers. He will know suffering beyond his darkest fears. I have plans for you, American. Oh, he did. Dragovich sure did. So, this will conclude the first episode of Call of Duty Black Ops. Um, I'm going to be doing one mission per episode because I'm going to be pumping out two videos every time that I upload. Because I won't be uploading daily, so I'll pump out two videos every time that I upload. And I'll probably upload twice a week for now, starting. And it depends on... The feedback that I get and if I get good feedback then I'll upload more but one video will be a walkthrough or playthrough such as this and the other one will just be me messing around with some friends on different games where there will be more commentary and more of me talking but with these games I want to stay a bit quiet so that you can take in the story a bit better but uh yeah I'm gonna try and finish this game by the end of the week hopefully and uh I hope you all have a safe and happy Halloween week and get your votes in if you can because your voice can be heard but thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one